The original plan for the Ingenuity helicopter was just to show that it could actually fly on Mars, not survive a Martian winter. So returning to flight after months of overnight lows in the minus 120s was a gamble. On this episode of Mars Guy. Ingenuity first took flight 16 months ago on an early spring day, or SOL, in the northern hemisphere of Mars. Now it's the middle of winter with daytime highs in the single digits below zero and lows more than 100 degrees colder. Starting a few months ago, the low sun angle and dusty skies sapped the input on Ingenuity's solar panel to the point that its batteries could no longer power the survival heaters overnight. Here's Mars Guy for scale. None of its electronics is rated for the resulting nightly cold soaks, and its batteries are not fully charging. So after more than 100 of these nights, Ingenuity's 30th flight was more like an early test flight than the epic flights at the height of its power. Ingenuity checked in on Sol 503, sending three close-up images from its color camera that spanned 48 seconds at about 12.50 in the afternoon. The tiny shifts in its shadow shows that the camera still works and that Mars does indeed spin on its axis. On Sol 527, it sent back two navcam images from before and after a test of its rotors, spinning them up to the more than 2500 RPM needed for flight. The telemetry indicated Ingenuity was go for flight, so on Sol 533, August 19th on Earth, Ingenuity took to the skies. This video is from Ingenuity's 14th flight, which was essentially an equivalent one. It also climbed to 5 meters, then flew sideways, or translated, 2 meters before landing. With the new flight, there's hope that some of the dust on the solar panel will be cleared off. Only three navcam images of the actual flight have been downlinked, which show the controlled descent. Although this flight only moved two meters closer to Perseverance, there's no concern that Ingenuity will fall behind. Perseverance is on the move again after more than two months exploring and sampling rocks at the front of the ancient delta, but its next destination is taking it backward. The rocks in a location dubbed Enchanted Lake that it visited months ago but didn't sample will get a second look in the coming weeks. Here's the latest view looking back at the location where Perseverance collected its four most recent rock samples. The view ahead includes the spectacular mesa named Kodiak, an eroded remnant of the delta. And hidden from view by nearby terrain are the rocks of Enchanted Lake. Here they are in the views from the first visit in late April of this year, which I presented in episode 57. It's the thin layers that make these rocks appealing. They're the result of fine sediments deposited on the floor of ancient Lake Jezero, or Yezero, so they could host the preserved remains of microbial life that may have inhabited the lake. Returning to these rocks months later, like Ingenuity's return to flight, is a bit like starting over. <laughs>